please do not put fire in my state, Governor Makinde begs Mike. The governor of Governor of Oyo State, Shay Makinde, has begged the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Nyesumike, not to set Oyo State on fire. We had a few weeks ago threatened to put fire and cause a political crisis in the state of any PDP's governor pushing for the River State governor, Sim Fubara, to take over the structures of the party in the state. Makende made the plea on Saturday, September 28, 2024, during the reception organized by Nwike by the Joe World Congress in Portacot. Makende explained that the former governor has done creditably well for his people and the state, hence the honor. According to him, I came to Oyo to identify with my brother and the celebrant of today, Nyesumbike. When I showed up in Rivers yesterday, on Friday, I told him that I bought a piece of him because he has been boasting that he will put fire in some state. I told him, please, don't set fire in Oyo state. Let me say, on behalf of other governor, colleagues and past governors here, that you have done well for your people. And since I came here, I have seen projects that you are done during your eight years as governor. I don't know. What, what, do I, what do I expect in all of this? What do I expect in all of this? Of course now, Shei Makinde is one of the G5. So whatever is coming out to say. And are they even here say Shei Makinde won't come outside for presidency? And they laugh. She never said that for there. You won't come outside for presidency. I will tell the people the truth. To be as if I'm giving the prophecy. Nobody will come out that man no. If that man comes, may you know say. <laughs> if that man comes, make you know say ah, maybe God won't choose to have mercy on us, sincerely. Because many of us eyes they closed, we know the waiting. Our eyes they closed, we know. See, we deserve make that man lead here. No, a lot of us will be saying they come aside and dodge. We say they do. Then deserve make them and show them enough shige. To be very sincere with you. So, uh, Shema I don't dis I don't expect anything from him. All this how that they talk, now just making for making for talk. Nothing, nothing, nothing come out. And in a way, I see this as glorifying what Wiki said. Yeah, because this is not a matter of don't put fire. No, 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 no. People came outside after that video Wiki made and said, "You didn't speak well." This is not the way. And some people are actually supporting it. Sometimes, you know, I ask myself, how do you join me and honor for this thing? People where they support these people. People who are coming out to say, oh, this is because they're doing this. See, I am not saying whatever is going on in PDP is right. I'm not saying, oh, as they use allow make article or some people for the party they misbehave is right. No. But I'm saying, Mika is somebody who is a leader. And a leader means you have influence. Why are you going to be bringing bad, nonsensical character and using it to influence people and making people to think like that? Why are you going to be careless in your speech? As a leader, you don't, as, you don't assume the role of a, how am I going to put it, of a father, yes. You don't assume the role of a father. You are a servant, you are a father. If you are a man, if you are a woman, you are a mother, you are a servant as well. Your destiny, your destiny not to show people but use that your position well. Show people how to behave. Especially people who are even going to want to, you know, get into politics. You they show them how to become very nonsensical. To come outside to very to be very careless with their words. Is that it? So me now, what in the day they try to now say that in way we can talk. If they glorify them, they're saying, Oh, don't put fire in my state. What's that supposed to mean? It's not like I'm surprised though. Like I said. Makinde is one of the G5 governors. So, but I'm asking, why? Why do we have to keep tolerating this in this country? Why are you people who are supporting this? Why are you supporting this? As in, what exactly is the problem? Are you people not loved at home? Because if we, if Nigerians really love themselves, you see this is when we can talk. In other countries, eh? in other countries that are advanced, we cannot go sit down for that seat as FCT minister. Then go query him for that thing where he talk. In fact, he go don't come out. He go lose that in position. But here over in Nigeria, somebody is coming out to make it look like he said something very nice. Oh, I gave him a peace offering. I don't want him to do what's What's that supposed to mean? No, what exactly is that supposed to mean? 
and people are cheering him and clapping for him. Oh, uh, uh, this one, that one. That means you are, you are telling somebody else tomorrow in the next five, ten years that the person should come outside and do and say what he said. <clears throat> now, what for enough for this country? You, know, you can never cease to amaze me. You can never cease to amaze me because I don't understand. Hmm? Okay, m maybe maybe I don't need to talk too much. Let me let me play it for you people. Let me go over it again. Governor Sheikh Makindi has begged, even though you people are going to come out and say I am being uh, taking it too serious. It was it is a joke that Makindi is doing. So, a joke used to classify something that was not a joke. Governor Shay McKinney has begged the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Nyesumbiki, not to set oil state on fire. That is it. Hmm. He has few weeks ago threatened to put fire and cause a political crisis just because what? Let's even go down. Let us go back. How this matter even you start? Governors come back for Barrow. Some governors back for Barrow say... Normal, normal. If you're the governor of a state, now you're supposed to be the waiting, the leader of that state politically. And that is how it has always been in PDP. Then some governors now say, you know what? That's why it always be so. We are going to back Governor Fubara, who is the current governor of every state. And we can come, they tell them, say, eh, if they no, if they no come on, I, if they no come on their mouths for waiting concern reverse, they say, go pull fire. Does it make sense? And these people are PDP. I live in the IPC. I go tell them say, I'm, I'll be the, I'm going to be the first people to ask you, what is your what is your own concern here? What is your own? What is your own? You understand? But this one, this is not a matter of this is PDP members. PDP members are supposed to look out for each other. Whether you are from Gombe, whether you are from Zamfara, whether you are from Kwara, whether you are from uh, what's it called? Ibadan. I mean, or your states, whether you are from Oshu, whether you are from or your. Whether you are from Enugu, you are from Imo, you are from Anambra, wherever you come from, you be PDP member. Meaning, say, any way they happen for any of these states, why call for the whole 36 states? You are supposed to be stretching your neck. Why? Because you are supposed to be concerned. If you want forms, just say, you know, concern you, my dear, when you go reach your own state, so not everybody go do. So you are supposed to come out and say, ah, Kilon Shelley, what is going on in PD, uh, what's it called, PDP rivers? What's going on? Now, wait, so they did the right thing. You're coming out to say, eh, if they support him, this is what, as who? And then you now went out to threaten them that they are going to put crisis in their states. I not blame you, Sha. Nigerians, Nigerians will really glorify rubbish. If not, you know, I've seen it in Senate climbs. He's not even going to. At all. He's not. You know, go feel go scot free. But right on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for. Turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.